The asset panel lets you manage all of the assets that you have imported into your project. And it's where you can import Cal3D, FBX, or texture files into your project. It also gives you information on the type of assets, the size of those assets, and how many times, if any, they're used in the project. If you see assets that aren't being used, you have the ability to delete them from the drop-down menu. The inventory panel is essential for creators. It holds all of the products and outfits that you've purchased and can be loaded into the scene for reference against the product that you're editing. At the top left of the panel is a toggle to open up your inventory filters. Here you can filter for looks, outfits, shoes, hair, eyes, or any other product category. Just click on a look and it will load the outfit minus the body part that you're editing. If you're editing clothing or a furniture item, you can also search for rooms and load an alternate room as a background. And you can also refine the search through your inventory with the search field. One of the most important ways that creators use the inventory panel is by utilizing poses and actions. And you can filter for those products as well. Now, if any product that you're wearing contains an action, you can access it at the little panel at the bottom. And this is where you can access and test trigger actions. Clicking on an action will trigger it. Or you can test trigger words by typing them into the chat window. Now, there are a couple special inventory items that you can access by clicking on the little eyeball in the upper left corner. This is the minimum coverage guidelines pose and the minimum coverage guidelines skin. You can activate them by flipping the switch and hitting preview. You can't see the MCG skin with this avatar I have on, but the MCG pose, you can access the same way that you do any other action. You can simply click on the action in the list, or you can type the trigger word into the chat window. And while we're looking at the upper left side of the screen, we've added a button to take a snapshot. This is a full snapshot with background. And we've doubled the resolution in InView Studio, so your images will be 4096 pixels wide. We've also maintained the well-known shortcut to get a high resolution, no background image. Just type high res no BG into the chat window, and it'll show up on your desktop. And that pretty much covers it for assets and inventory items. In our next video, we'll show you some new room features and the action panel.